Hey, everybody. All right, welcome. Oh, let's take a moment, just kind of shrug your shoulders a little bit. We'll loosening into the shoulder joint. Let's take a nice big inhale, reach our arms up overhead and bend over to our right side. So I like to go with just a little bit wider of a stance, but really whatever feels best to you, a little bend in the knees and reaching. Think about pressing your hip to the left as you reach to the right, maybe a gentle pull on the right forearm if you like. Deep stretch through the left side body. And then maybe rotate the head up so you're looking back up over your elbow just a little. A little more breaths here. And then we'll slowly make our way up. Pause for a second, feel how much longer the left side feels. Take an inhale and exhale, reach it over to the left. Again, you can gently pull on the right forearm if you like. Think about pressing the hips to the right. Welcome Lorraine, welcome Cam, welcome Cleo, Lisa, Casey, Deanna, Lori. We have Liz and Kathy and Lori, a couple of Lori's in the house, I think. Did I, or did I, yep, two Lori's. Is there, did I just say Lori twice? There are two Lori's here. Reaching, big side body. Inhale, come up. And we bring our feet a little closer together and on our exhale, come into a forward fold. Now, if bringing the hands all the way down to the ground seems too much, right? Hands could go onto a chair, a stool, or even your shins. And I invite you, if you feel okay, to just let your head fold here. Take in a few breaths of just letting kind of that blood flow to your head, the reverse gravity, allowing gravity to stretch you out. So we don't have to do a whole lot here. Just let ourselves be forward. Now, if at any time you start to feel a little lightheaded or just too much pressure in the head, you can always lift the chest halfway and think about lowering the chest to the legs, but keeping the head lifted a little bit. Just a couple more breaths. And then on our inhale here, we'll lift up halfway through our chest. Bend your right knee quite a bit. So really let your right knee bend so that you can work to straighten the left leg and we'll reach the left arm up. So it takes, comes down that IT band, right? That outer thigh. Now, again, if that floor seems far away, right? I could use a yoga block. I could use, you know, have my hand up on a chair, toilet paper roll, paper towel roll. But just let the right knee bend. A little twist through your body, really working down that outer thigh. One more breaths. And then we'll release. I'll just turn a little bit so we can still, still see you all. This time, let the left knee bend, right? The chest is half lifted. I'm just resting on my fingertips, but again, I could have a yoga block, a ball, straightening through the right leg. Welcome, Allie. Welcome, Ellen. Welcome, Anna. more breaths here. You're just coming in. We're just starting with a couple of standing stretches. And release. From here, we'll go ahead and make our way down to our knees. Options, though, I'm going to show you a standing option. We can curl our toes under, set back onto our heels. This is going to get the foot stretch. Now, hands staying on the ground, a little bit lighter, or I can bring my hands up to my lap. Now, if you're like, oh, that doesn't look good. That doesn't even look like that's going to feel good on my knees. Right? Stay standing. Do one foot at a time. Just curl the toes under. Let the knee bend. I'm still getting that same stretch through the bottom of the foot, but I'm doing just one foot and I'm not having to be down on my knees. So if you're choosing to do that, stay standing. I'll tell you when to switch sides. Otherwise, you get a little extra time down here onto both feet. Take a couple of more breaths. If you have been doing one foot, you can go ahead and switch to that second foot. If you're on your knees here and you need a little break out of it, feel free, come out of it. Or stay here for a few more breaths. Welcome, Linda A.
We're going to take the opposite of this, getting the top of the foot into the shin. Again, I'm going to give you a standing option. But if you're good down here on the ground, ease off. Take a moment. Roll your ankles, wiggle your toes. Just let your feet come back into neutral. Then placing the tops of the feet on the ground, setting back. We can do one foot, lifting one shin. You can do both. I'll tell you when to switch. Or again, you can stay standing here, just putting the tops of the foot onto the ground. And there's that nice stretch. And you could be holding on to a wall. So that can feel really good right there. Or doing one foot on the ground. Or if you're doing two, you just get to stay here a little longer. Now trying to push to where we feel like we can't push anymore, right? Just where you feel the stretch. If you've been doing one foot, you can switch to the other side. So if you've been doing one, switch legs. If you're doing two, you can take a break or continue to hold. It's really good for our feet or ankles, though it can feel a little uncomfortable, especially if we're not used to stretching our feet and ankles and we have, have some tightness. A couple of more breaths. And then we'll ease slowly out. If you are standing, you may want to go ahead and come down to the ground at this time. Uh, with us, we'll be you know, doing more normal poses. Oh, roll your ankles out, right? At first, it feels a little bit intense. And everything starts to loosen up. Nice. And then from here, we'll just take those legs, extend them long. Knees have been bent so long. So it'll be nice to stretch them out. We'll walk our hands towards our feet for a nice forward fold. So when you start the forward fold, think about your gaze being up. It's like I'm pulling my nose towards my toes. So it's a gentle lengthening. I can hold my shins. I can hold my feet wherever I reach, or I could use a strap. Pull myself forward, lengthen the spine. Then once I'm kind of in the just right position, if I want to make this a little more relaxing, then I can let the upper body fold. Relaxing a little bit more through the back. Higher back of the body stretch from the base of your heel all the way up the back side to the base of the head. Welcome, Jessica. And slowly come up, working into our glute stretch. So one option is fire log. So the right foot can be in front or you can start to stack it, maybe even stacking foot to knee, knee to foot. If you're like, mm, don't like this, right? Remember the four stretch can also be really nice. We're basically doing the same thing, but we're not making both feet do the position. So you can always take four four stretch, flip around, squirm around, and then if it feels good to you, walk the hands forward, maybe even coming down onto your forearms if you like. To me, this is just a little more relaxing than four stretch because I'm not having to pull on anything with my arms. I'm not having to support myself, you know, here leaning back on my hands or laying down, pulling in. I like to sometimes just oh, hold it forward. That may not feel good to you. You may prefer the other, so please, please do what feels good to you. And maybe you shift your torso a little bit side to side, and you find as you shift your torso a little bit to the left, 
little bit deeper stretch into the right hip. So if you want that, right, just kind of shift the torso a little bit to the left. You could twist, shift it a lot to the left if you wanted, or just a little bit, but try not to pull up off the right leg and keep the right leg down. Again, that's just only if that works and feels good to you to add that little, little extra stretch. And then if you added it in, we'll ease our way back center. Come on up and we'll do that on the other side. So again, four stretches perfect on the other side or coming into any version of your fire log, taking your time, shifting around, maybe folding forward. So announcements, mindful moments, I'm sure you have heard before. It does start in May. We'd love to have you. Eight sessions. We'll meet eight times over a two-week period. You will get all the videos. So if you can't make something, or maybe you just prefer to do the video, each session will be about 30 minutes. We might run over a tiny bit because I want to make sure I give you a good yoga nidra each session. And so I'm going to use at least kind of 20 minutes of a good yoga nidra, which leads us 10 to 15 minutes to work on a breathing exercise and a strategy or technique, a coping strategy or technique. So signups have started. Again, if you want to shift a little bit over to your opposite side, so over to the right side, a deeper stretch. If you are a connect member or you've done mindful moments at any time in the past, even if you didn't do it last round and you did it two years ago, um, you do get a 20% discount. I just, I really believe in when Steph used to do it with me, believe too, like there's a lot to be said for doing it regularly. It just, you know, reminds us. And so I do want to offer that discount if you have done it in the past and that will always stay. So you'll always get that discount or if you're a Connect member. And then come center and we'll work it up here. From here, come on over onto hands and knees, couple of cat cows, just a little movement, releasing of the spine. I always throw cat cows in for many, many classes. And then we'll come into child's pose or puppy. So puppy's going to be a little bit deeper stretch. So puppy, we slide the hands out. We let the bottom stay up. And that gives us more space to kind of drop down. You take your hands a little wider. It's going to feel different than closer together. So play around with what feels best to you. Rest on your forehead. Or you can set that back into child's pose. So a little bit lighter on the shoulders. Think about kind of anchoring down through the hands or the wrist and then stretching from the wrist joint to the shoulder joints. You're getting all the length through the arms. You can play around with a little bit of movement at the shoulder joint, not kind of internally or externally rotating. It's bringing that stretch to just right for you. And then we'll slowly come up. We'll finish with that full front body stretch coming all the way up onto the shins. Of course, you could stand up here also. Thumbs onto your low back, pull the elbows together. We'll gently press the hips forward. Lift and open the chest. Think about making the front from the knee to the shoulders as long as possible. So I take my thumbs and I kind of push down into my SI joint. Give my glutes a little squeeze. That protects the low back, plus allows me to stretch a little bit deeper. If anybody wanted to bring their hands to their heels for camel, you can. That is not required, but if it feels good to you. lengthen through the crown of the head rather than letting it drop let it be long 
and then use the core, pull the belly in to gently bring you up and out, maybe a little light, <laughs> twisting side to side. Awesome, thank you all for joining me. I will be back tomorrow morning, early 5.30 a.m. Bardio. If you've got any kids doing the Kids Empowered, I will see them tonight at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, I guess, afternoon. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.